Boeing's F-47 NGAD, the hidden jet that will crush every sixth-gen rival. China stunned the world in late 2024, not with TikTok trends or electric cars this time, but by rolling out not one, but two sixth-generation fighter jets. Military forums went wild, headlines screamed, and armchair experts started typing like it was D-Day all over again. Has America finally fallen behind? Defense stocks took a nosedive. Commentators called it the new Sputnik moment. But what everyone missed, what nobody outside a handful of people inside the Pentagon knew, is that while China was celebrating their prototype's first flight, the United States had already been quietly flying something far more advanced for years. In this video, we will meet the Boeing F-47, the aircraft so advanced it makes fifth-generation jets look like museum pieces. It's a flying network, an invisible orchestra of sensors, a AI and sheer American engineering. And the craziest part? It's been operational in secret since before most people even heard the phrase sixth generation. So buckle in, because this is the real story of how the US built the world's ultimate air dominance machine. Make sure you're subscribed. What comes next will change how you see air warfare. A jet five years ahead of time. Let's rewind. December 2024. While China was revealing their shiny new toys, the J-36 and J-50, defense analysts were declaring victory for Beijing. So Social media experts claimed America was asleep at the wheel. What they didn't know was that the F-47 wasn't a sketch on a PowerPoint slide. It had already been flying since 2019 under a program so classified it made the Manhattan Project look like an open mic night. The roots go back to DARPA's Aerospace Innovation Initiative, started in 2014. Boeing's engineers, the same people who gave the world the B-52, the F-15, and a few of the safest passenger planes ever built, were quietly building and testing full-scale demonstrators in California's restricted airspace. By the time President Trump publicly announced the F-47 program in 2025, it wasn't a future concept. It was a finished weapon. Boeing wasn't starting production. They were scaling it. That's how the Air Force could promise first flight by 2028, because the first flight had technically already happened years earlier, far from public eyes. And if you're wondering why it's called the F-47, well, part of that is homage to the legendary P-47 Thunderbolt of World War II. Different era, same spirit, unstoppable, American-made, and designed to dominate the skies. The sixth-gen race, it's not about speed anymore. The fight for sixth-generation superiority isn't about who can fly faster or turn tighter. Those days ended when radar got smart. Modern air combat is about information. Who sees first, who decides first, and who shoots first. The new generation of fighters isn't just about being invisible, it's about being intelligent. The F-47 doesn't just fly missions, it runs the battlefield. Its central philosophy is something called sensor-to-shooter compression. That's a fancy Pentagon way of saying, find the enemy, process the data, and take them out before they even know you're there. This thing isn't a lone wolf. It's the quarterback of an entire digital air force. The pilot's job isn't a dogfight. It's to command an orchestra of drones, sensors, and weapons that all think and react in sync. While other nations are still figuring out how to connect their aircraft, the F-47 already runs a fully integrated AI command suite. Imagine Tony Stark's HUD from Iron Man, except it's real, classified, and running over the Pacific Ocean. Stealth that's practically science fiction. You thought the F-22 was stealthy? Cute. The F-47 operates in what the Air Force calls Stealth Plus. Its radar signature is so tiny it blends into atmospheric background noise. That's not poetic exaggeration, it's literal. Early radar systems can't even register it as an object. And thermal sensors? Forget it. The aircraft's exhaust and skin are so precisely managed that even heat-seeking missiles can lose lock mid-chase. How? Adaptive coatings that change their molecular structure to absorb different wavelengths. Think of it like a chameleon that doesn't just blend colors, but disappears from radar, infrared, and electronic detection simultaneously. Even the engines, part of the next generation adaptive propulsion system, are silent killers. They can switch between high efficiency and high thrust modes on the fly, cruising supersonic without afterburners. That's called super cruise, and it's what makes the F-47 a ghost that can sprint across oceans without refueling. And the power these engines generate? Enough to run directed energy weapons? Yeah, lasers alongside a full suite of electronic warfare gear. We're not talking Star Wars fantasy anymore. 
We're talking battlefield-ready systems capable of frying enemy sensors before the enemy even gets visual confirmation. The tyranny of distance solved. For decades, America's biggest challenge hasn't been technology, it's been geography. The Pacific Ocean is massive, and it's not exactly dotted with friendly airstrips. Fighters like the F-35 were great for Europe, where everything's a short hop away. But in the Pacific, you need serious legs. Enter the F-47. Its combat radius tops 1,000 nautical miles, roughly a quarter more than anything flying today. That's a game changer. Not only can it cruise those distances at supersonic speed, it can do it while running a small fleet of drones, jamming enemy radars, and scanning targets in real time. In practical terms, it means the F-47 can take off from bases in Guam or even Hawaii and still reach contested zones without relying on tankers. That's called strategic independence, the ability to project power anywhere without begging for gas mid-flight. The Drone Revolution, the F-47's secret weapon. But the real headline act? The Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, or CCA. These are autonomous drone wingmen designed to fight alongside the F-47. They're not remote-controlled toys. They're AI-driven fighters capable of independent tactical decisions. The pilot of the F-47 acts as commander, assigning roles, coordinating strikes, and letting each drone handle the dirty work. Picture it, one manned F-47 flying with four loyal robot wingmen. One's armed with long-range air-to-air missiles. Another specializes in electronic warfare. A third carries ground attack ordnance. The fourth, a decoy drone meant to confuse enemy sensors. All of them share data instantly, operate at machine speed, and adapt on the fly. To the enemy, it's like fighting ghosts that multiply every time you take a shot. This system gives America something no adversary can replicate yet, scalable firepower. Every F-47 you send into battle brings a swarm of additional fighters without needing more pilots or airframes. And if that sounds futuristic, you're right. But testing is already happening. The Air Force confirmed in early 2025 that experimental CCA drones had successfully teamed with human pilots during live fire exercises. This isn't concept art. It's happening. China's big reveal, and why it doesn't matter yet. Now credit where it's due. China's J-36 and J-50 prototypes are impressive. The J-36 is a big beast, possibly with a three-engine layout, hinting at high-power output for energy weapons. The J-50 looks optimized for carrier operations, meaning Beijing's planning to push stealth fighters off aircraft carriers, something even the U.S. Navy is cautious about. But here's the catch. Prototype flights don't equal operational readiness. China has struggled for years to perfect its WS-15 engines, and they're still not as reliable as the American Pratt & Whitney F-135 or GEXA-100 family. Without that reliability, long-range or high-performance missions remain risky. And beyond hardware, China lacks the decades of stealth, data fusion, and electronic warfare experience the U.S. has built since the F-117 first flew in the 1980s. You can't rush experience, and that's something no amount of state funding can buy. Analysts estimate China's 6th Gen fleet won't be combat ready until the mid-2030s. By then, the F-47 will already be patrolling the skies, collecting real combat data, and getting upgrades faster than anyone can catch up. Weapons straight out of science fiction. The F-47's internal weapons bay isn't just a storage room, it's a magic box. Inside are munitions that don't exist anywhere else. Imagine hypersonic missiles that fly at Mach 5 or higher, weaving through the sky while staying completely stealthy. Or smart bombs that can change targets mid-flight using real-time satellite updates. And then there are directed energy systems, lasers powerful enough to fry incoming missiles before they even get close. That's not future tech Boeing demonstrated prototype systems years ago capable of doing exactly that. Each F-47 carries more weapons internally than the F-35 does with external pylons, meaning it keeps its stealth profile and its firepower. Better yet, it can redistribute weapons across its drone wingman mid-mission. So if one drone runs out of missiles, another can take over targeting duties automatically. The entire formation behaves like one living organism, fast, flexible, and impossible to predict. Invisible warfare, 
the F-47's electronic edge. The air combat today isn't about who's got the biggest missile. It's about who controls the electromagnetic spectrum. The F-47 doesn't just avoid detection, it hacks the very idea of detection. Its skin, literally, the aircraft's outer surface, is embedded with thousands of microscopic sensors that map the electronic environment in 3D. It can detect, analyze, and manipulate enemy radar signals in real time. That means it can create ghost aircraft, fake signatures, or even make enemy systems believe their own planes are threats. It's digital trickery at Mach 2, and when it's time to go on offense, the F-47 can jam communication links, confuse missile guidance, or inject false data into enemy networks. It's like playing chess while your opponent's pieces start arguing with each other. Combine that with its drone swarm, and you get what strategists call electronic dominance, total control of the battlefield's information layer. In short, while the enemy's blind, deaf, and confused, America's pilots are flying in full-color HD. Boeing's manufacturing miracle. Let's talk about something most people overlook, how Boeing built this thing. The F-47's creation wasn't just an engineering win, it was an industrial revolution. Boeing built massive digital assembly lines in St. Louis using AI-driven manufacturing. Every part of the jet is first modeled and tested in virtual reality, meaning errors are caught before anything's even printed or forged. Robots assemble components with submillimeter precision, and materials are 3D printed using classified titanium alloys stronger and lighter than anything in civilian aerospace. The result? Speed, cost efficiency, adaptability. The F-47 isn't designed to be frozen in time like past jets. It's modular, meaning sensors, processors, and even weapon systems can be swapped or upgraded through plug-and-play systems. If tomorrow's tech invents a new radar or weapon, the F-47 doesn't retire. It evolves. That's a key difference between America and its rivals. Where others build for today, the U.S. builds for tomorrow's tomorrow. Allies, industry, and the American edge. Now here's something the internet doesn't talk about enough. America's secret weapon isn't just technology, it's teamwork. The F-47's systems aren't built in isolation. They tie directly into NATO and Pacific partner networks. That means allied nations can share encrypted battlefield data, target identification, and threat analysis instantly. The result is a globe-spanning defense web one that reinforces democratic nations and deters aggression without firing a shot. Countries line up to partner with the U.S. because when you fly American tech, you're not just buying an airplane, you're buying strategic security, and that partnership extends beyond defense. The innovations inside the F-47 are already influencing commercial aviation, materials science, and artificial intelligence research. Every generation of American fighter jets has fueled civilian breakthroughs, from GPS to composites to avionics. The F-47 will be no different. In other words, when America builds for defense, the whole world benefits. Timeline to take off. So, when do we actually see it fly? Officially, the Air Force says first flight in 2028, with operational capability by 2029. But given everything we've learned, chances are it's already flying test missions under another name. The U.S. plans to build over 180 aircraft to replace the F-22 Raptor, but at a lower cost and far higher capability. Unlike the Raptor, which was export-restricted, the F-47 might one day operate alongside close allies like the U.K., Japan, and Australia. And that changes the entire global defense map. Imagine a Pacific coalition where every major democratic nation fields interoperable stealth fighters and AI drones. That's not just air dominance, that's air deterrence on a planetary scale. The U.S. isn't just preparing for the next war, it's making sure nobody's crazy enough to start one. The ecosystem that wins wars. Here's the truth, no single jet wins wars. What wins wars is the ecosystem around it. The F-47 sits at the heart of that system, connected to satellites, radar networks, electronic warfare planes, and naval systems that all share data in real time. The next generation adaptive propulsion program ensures engines can deliver both power and range. The CCA drones provide scalable numbers. The directed energy weapons bring near instant response. Together they form an ecosystem that no other country can replicate. It's like trying to copy Apple's iPhone by just 3D printing the case. You'll never get the ecosystem of hardware, software, and updates that make it unbeatable. And that's America's true advantage. A century of industrial infrastructure, combat experience, and partnerships built on trust, not coercion. 
looking beyond the road to seventh generation. Believe it or not, the F-47 is already laying the groundwork for what comes next. Seventh generation concepts are on the drawing board. Autonomous combat networks, space-based sensors, even weapons that move at near light speeds. The difference is, America's not just imagining that future, it's building it step by step. The F-47 is the foundation, the first chapter in a new era where AI, human intuition, and unmatched technology work together. China might be catching headlines now, but it's America writing the next century's rulebook. Why it matters. At the end of the day, the Boeing F-47 isn't just an airplane, it's a message, a loud, roaring, supersonic declaration that the United States still leads the world in innovation, strategy, and resolve. It's proof that when America invests in its engineers, its scientists, and its warfighters, it doesn't just keep up, it redefines what ahead means. While others parade prototypes, America quietly builds revolutions, and when it finally rolls them out, the world doesn't just watch, it recalculates. The F-47 ensures that freedom of flight and freedom itself stays protected by the people who first brought powered flight to the world. So next time someone says America's losing its edge, remind them. The most advanced fighter jet ever built has been flying under everyone's radar, literally.